This video is on upgrading a Cake PHP 4 project to Cake PHP 5. Uh, this particular project has the authentication, authorization, and Cake DC auth plugins. So it's just going to look at just the process of getting those upgraded with the core Cake PHP. So to get started, I'm going to clone my project and going to git clone and we're going to call it how to upgrade the folder and st starting we're going to install our cake php dependencies and then get our code editor running so we have uh, go bin cake version uh, we can see immediately that we've got some sort of deprecation warning here so let's handle that fortunately a lot of the de deprecation warnings already have a web link so this is uh, going to take us to the migration guide here and then the particular error message you might have to search the page but it's this one here it's basically saying that we replace usage of these two classes with these new error trap classes. So I'm just going to open config bootstrap and find our is it console error handler. Yeah, here it is. So these two classes are being completely replaced. I'll just um, put in and find the ones replacing here and just replace them. So now if we go back, we should just see that we're now at cake 4.4.10 and the next step we'll need to take is to upgrade immediately to 4.5 point whatever it is. So if we go composer, upgrade, pull in our latest dependencies there. Now this project uh, has a migration and some seeds. So if we have a look at bin cake migrations status, we can see here that we currently don't have a database configured. So we want to go in and find our app local and we want to define a database we're not going to use mysql we're just going to use sqlite for this so i'm just going to copy the complete test url and then modify it to be and in fact we don't need any of that it's just hard coded so let's have a look at now whether we're happy, yes. So let's run our migration. And then we want to run our seeds. Uh, in this particular case, it's saying that there's an error. It's saying that the way the seeds are currently declared is wrong. So we just need to uh, update them so they are correct. So we go here, we can see our code editors complaining as well. So we want to just put the correct function definition there and it will now hopefully work. So once we've done that, let's run our development server and we can go to and obviously I've logged in before but let's log in again and you get an invalid cookie when you do that, but now we're we're logged in. So we can see here we're at Cake version four. Let's double check that. We open up our terminal and we go bin Cake version. We're at four point five point one, and so now how do we move up to 
the next version. Well, what they recommend, if we go to our documentation here, let's go here and we've got migration guides for each version, but we go to our five book, we go to migration guides and then we click on upgrade. And it says, first check that your application is running the latest Cake 4 version, which we've done. Then check that we have eAll as an error level in our app, config app, close that. are we'll just search for that and we do that's good now the next step is saying that we want PHP version 8.1 which is fine we do and then it's saying we want to run an upgrade tool so this is going to automate some of the changes so I'm just pasting that into my project there and it's going to create a little upgrade tool in the upgrade directory and then it says okay against your project run these commands so I'm going to run these commands before I do that I might just commit uh, pre rector so that we can see what's being upgraded so now I'm going to specify the SRC directory and run the cake PHP 5 upgrades. Okay, and you can see, if you look, you can see that there's been significant changes to how things are defined. So we're no longer using configuration arrays. We're using name parameters for this get statement here. There's different classes that are being inserted as well, and a number of types are being added. So we do that for both the Kronos 3 and the Cake 5 rule sets. Home dev how to upgrade SRC. Right. And some of the upgrade rules don't get applied because you don't have those things in your project. So in this case, Kronos hasn't done much at all. Once that's done, done, you can remove the upgrade tool and then we can move on to uh, our further upgrade steps. Now it's saying, have a look at the Cake PHP Composer JSON skeleton and make it the same. So the way to do that, or the way I've, I've found I like to do it, is I just paste in the newer bits and then delete the things it's complaining about being a duplicate. So you can see that we're going up to four in migrations, we're going up to two in plugin installer and a big jump in mobile detect as well. So once that's done, that's our uh, require section. Now we do the same with our require dev section. And so if there's anything that's not duplicated, don't just don't delete it. So code sniffers and C and we now have that. Now we've still got these sections here that uh, need to be fixed as well because they, they aren't part of the default skeleton. So we need to find out what versions these need to be at. And to do that, uh, we can go into, let's go here so we can see where we need to go from, whoops. All right, so we go into the five book and we go into tutorials and examples and these are our authentication and authorization plugins. And this is how you'd normally install it, but this is the version that you want for Cake PHP 5. So I'm just going to change both of these because they're both at this same version 3. So just put that in. Now, if we try to do that now, if we go Composer Upgrade, um, what will happen is it will complain that Cake DC Auth is not happy. So I'm just going to 
delete that for just temporarily and complete the upgrade and that, that brings everything up um, to the correct versions now. And if we go bin cake version, uh, it's going to complain because uh, there's an undefined function here which we'll handle in a minute. But what we want to do is we want to uh, reinstall cake DC or auth. And you can do that composer require cake DC auth. And that will then go out and find the correct version for cake PHP 5 without you actually having to specify it. Uh, sometimes you can just you know, modify that manually if you want to. Uh, either way, it'll work. So now we have everything um, working except we've lost something with the upgrade to cake PHP 5 and, and this end function it's saying it's undefined now. So if we have a look at the documentation uh, and go right to the bottom of constants and functions, these functions used to be global but they no longer are. So you now need to, by default, um, add this to Bootstrap PHP. So we need to go into Bootstrap PHP. And if I search for this end function and find the first instance, we want to require the functions just before that first call so you won't have issues in the future with with the end function. So I think it's used actually, yeah, so it's used uh, on line 165 in this case. So just put it before that, and then you should now be able to say, okay, we're now on Kate PHP version 5.0.2. So once all that upgrading's done, let's restart our development server and go back and see if we can get a web page up and the next error is it's saying that there's a problem with exception renderer so we need to figure out why that's a problem and if we have a look at we'll go over here and we go to the book the number five book to the migration guide and do a search for this particular class it says it's been removed and needs to be replaced with web exception renderer. So we go into, I think it's, yeah, into config app PHP. So we go app PHP and do a search for exception renderer. And we can find that it now needs to be changed to web exception renderer. So just change that and if you have a look up here, you need to change the use statement if your editor doesn't do it for you. But that would now give us the error message removed. We will take this away. But now we've got another problem and this time it's request handler component. So going into our migration guide again and searching for that we find that it's been removed as well. So we're gonna to have to remove that. And if we go into our uh, search here and look for it, you won't find it because it's actually in cake specified without the component bit at the end. So we need to then just find that load component statement and just remove that request handler component because it's no longer used. And theoretically, now we should have uh, a nicely formatted page on version five. Now there is an issue here. If we have a look into our index page for this post controller, let's have a look at that. So we wanna go and grab that. So let's go posts, controller, and index. Now at the moment it's, done the rules to so-called upgrade, but this is old code here. So if we have a look at this, 
this is the way it worked in kphp4 we could put our contain uh, key here and it would it would contain the users and include the users in the uh, the variable so if we have a look at that we go variables here we go posts and then we have a look in here we should see in our post the the user property but it's not there so that's now changed as well so we might have to go through our code and make a whole heap of edits uh, let me just find yes yeah, pagination what I was looking for so if we have a look here on the version 5 pagination it doesn't show uh, this paginate property being including contain it now shows this so you want to change it to paginating a query with the contain statement so let's do that so we remove we can remove all that because it's not going to be used uh, and then we want to create a query and we want to say this posts is it find and then we want a contain statement and it's so users and instead of paginating the table we now change that to paginating a query now let's have a look at that and see if that's fixed our issue and now we can see that if, and if we have a look in our variables it will now contain the user object as well which we need for displaying that related data so you'll have to go through uh, in a lot of places if you're using contain and you used to use it the old way you'll need to modify uh, all your controllers to, to be able to pull in uh, the other contain style, do it in a different way than, than what you're used to. So uh, that is a very brief uh, instruction on how to upgrade from Cape PHP 4 to 5 and just some of the small changes that you'll have to do to get things working. I hope it is useful to someone.